Here is my social media. Check out my Roblox group and merch. Hey everyone, Ashley Bunny here, and today we're going to be playing on Roblox Royal High once again, and we're going to be spilling some Royal High tea. And guys, the tea is hot today, so make sure you have some snacks with you, and make sure you drink some water, stay hydrated, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, first we have a tweet from Katie Purr, and it says, confirmed there's going to be a new parasol this valentine's day season lance who said in stream there will be a new parasol and so i'm going to insert the clip here because she did actually um record lance actually saying there's going to be a new parasol and so i took that clip and yeah i'm going to put it in this video and as always all of these people's links all of their twitter links and ads will be down in the description below i'm just here to convey the message to the youtube royal high fans in case you don't have twitter which i know a lot of you don't so yeah, let's go ahead and watch that little clip of Lance. This year, we are going to release another parasol. But so that was cool. So he said this year we're going to release another parasol. So confirmed straight from his mouth. And you know, we got the receipts to back it up. I'm so excited. Like we all know, like the Royal High community goes literally bonkers bananas crazy for parasols. So I cannot wait to see what the brand new parasol will look like and oh my gosh and just how everybody will react next we have a tweet from sticks and tricks you can always count on them for some good tea this tweet says lance just said there will be two parasols original from 2019 and the second one the second one from 2020 will be the one releasing this year it will be the same price as last year so do whatever you want with that information do what you will there's always a lot of like you know background noise surrounding the royal high parasols because like people like i said they go literally crazy bonkers bananas over it people charge ridiculous prices for parasols to me it doesn't matter the rarity it just matters if I think it looks cute. So I'm not sure if I'll be getting a parasol this year, but I might. Depends on what the new one looks like because, you know, Lance did confirm there's going to be a new one. When people saw the tweet from Sticks and Tricks talking about like the parasols and everything, the parasols coming back, then people were confused about that tweet. So like people were just like, wait, what's going on? Like, can you explain that again in a different way? So Sticks and Tricks thought it'd be a good idea to make a diagram. And I took that diagram and I'm going to show it to you guys now, you know, full credit and everything. So here it is. So this diagram is actually really cool looking. Like this looks like like very well made so at the top of the diagram it says there's gonna be two parasols same as there is now there will not be any more yearly parasols so there's no 2021 parasol no 2022 etc just an old and new one so obviously that was like you know sticks and tricks spoke a little too soon because Lance did say there was going to be a third parasol so yeah sticks and tricks must have got that info like a little bit after they made this diagram so there's gonna be three parasols in total so that's actually really cool so back to the diagram it says the original parasol from 2019 it's the old one that people sell for a lot in the trading hub this will never re-release onto the shop but will exist in the game for traders and those who traded for it so that's really cool so 2019 is a really rare parasol the new parasol the new one from 2020 which generally sells for cheaper in the trading hub this parasol will re-release every year following this it'll always be 60k it will never change price or go off sale permanently the glitchy rainbow parasol effect which can cause eye strain is being investigated i hope that diagram made some sense the original parasol from 2019 super rare cost a lot of money new parasol from last year 2020 not so rare 60k diamonds and third parasol 2021 parasol will be released soon and i'm guessing it'll be released you know with the valentine's day update if not soon after i did not know there was a glitchy rainbow parasol effect um i'm guessing that has something to do with patterns and stacking accessories i don't know i don't really stack accessories it really makes my head hurt so we're not gonna get into that the next tweet is from Sticks and Tricks and it says, well, Jam is most likely making the Halo. We been knew that from the poll she made, LOL. I didn't see that poll, but now I know. And included in this tweet is a screenshot of Jam Jam Ju and Lance's stream saying, I wonder who's making the Halo this year. So of course, Jam Jam Ju is going to be making the Halo. And then we have a couple of things from Barbie's inventory that I actually found. I saw some tweets and people were like, oh my gosh, Barbie's inventory has some new stuff. Oh my goodness, everybody was freaking out. So I went to her inventory and I saw some really cool stuff, some really new stuff and you know, really interesting stuff. 
First, we have this place from Barbie, and it's called Another Revamp, LOL. So this literally could be for anything. I mean, we're, I know it's for Royal High. Well, it could be for something else, but there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that this is for Royal High. And I don't know which realm she's going to be revamping, or she could be just revamping all the realms. I don't know. I just thought that deserved an honorable mention. Then we have these animations called Portal In and Portal Out from Barbie. I don't know what that could mean. I mean, people are saying it's like animations for the parkour realms that are going to be added. If you guys didn't know about that, there's going to be parkour realms, you know? But I don't know what these animations could be for. Like, I'm going to have to agree with what other people have been saying that these animations are for the themed parkour realms. And then there are some like strange things going on, like really strange things. And the clown dance has been removed from the apartments. People are saying they can find it in other realms. I'm not sure. People are like, we don't know why it's being deleted. Someone said that it was being used for non-safe reasons, inappropriate reasons, just crazy reasons. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it was just, you know, people being stupid. So that's one more thing in case you were wondering where the clown dance was. I personally never, I have never clicked on that animation. Like literally, what the heck? I have never used the clown animation before that's so random the fact that it's removed doesn't really phase me so if you were sad about that I am so sorry maybe they'll make a new one maybe they'll you know rework the clown dance to make it less prone to misuse we actually have a tweet about this from royal ween t and it says yes the clown dance is still in some realms it is still in the beach house and there are couches in the beach house people can still do the very inappropriate move in the beach house Hopefully it gets removed for good from Royal High. That kind of confirms my suspicions that people were using this animation inappropriately. Ew, I'm not gonna talk any more about it. And I almost forgot to show you guys, there are some more animations in Barbie's inventory, like some very new animations. They're all fly animations. So we have five new animations. We have fly going too fast, fly crossed still, fly at peace still, fly looks so natural, and fly tinker belly one. So I honestly don't know what any of those looks like, but I just know they're gonna be cute because the fly animations right now are actually cute. Like honestly, look at this. Fly animations we have right now are already so cute. Like what the heck? The next tweet is from Salty LS. Hopefully I said that right. And this tweet says, so we will be able to farm in the new school. That was kind of like already expected because you know, how else will we get diamonds? Unless there was some crazy new mechanism that we could use for farming. But I was pretty sure before this tweet that we were gonna be able to farm diamonds in the new school. Anyways, the tweet says, the diamonds will also get a glow up. Okay, I mean, we do get a glow up every once in a while for the diamonds because um the diamonds used to look very different they are hearts right now but if you're ogs you guys remember that like actual like diamond shape <laughs> they didn't used to be hearts the diamond shape changes you know every once in a while for special occasions and you know etc etc so i cannot wait to see what these new diamonds look like the next tweet is from the royal high news and it says attention royals confirmed 2021 parasol supposed to be the same price as the 2020 parasol we did not know that before yes there will be a new valentine's halo new set by ready the teddy oh my gosh new set we already knew there was going to be a new set i mean i just felt the vibe this year i just felt that there was going to be a brand new set you guys didn't have to tell me and of course ready the teddy is making this set ready the teddy is a master like a master at making sets and included in this tweet are two screenshots we have this screenshot that was actually posted by ready which we're going to go in depth about later on and then we have a screenshot from what I'm guessing is Lance's stream, and it says, Tea spill regarding Valentine's parasols. There will be two parasols. The 2019 parasol will be staying as a classic parasol. However, the 2020 will be back and staying, as well as a parasol that comes back every year. No price change. Both parasols will always share the same designs, just a different name. So I honestly think that's really cool. And then, like I mentioned earlier, there is a tweet from Ready the Teddy, and they posted this. And this is supposedly, like, everybody in the replies of this tweet was like, I love the new set! The new set looks so good! So I'm guessing that this is the new set. So, um, 
uh, clearly it's blurred out. There's really not much to say. The blurred bits look cool. I mean, like there's really nothing I can commentate on because it's blurred. Based on Ready the Teddy's previous sets, this set is gonna be awesome. So just get hype. I know it's gonna be beautiful already just from looking at this blurred out photo. And then in the replies of this tweet, someone by the name of Pinka said, stop, you're already done. And then Reddy replies, I'm still making boy versions, dying at the moment because I'm getting way too distracted. Help me. Honestly, I feel you. That's me whenever I have to do any volume of work from school. So of course, Reddy is making a female and male version, which is as always amazing and so inclusive. Reddy the Teddy is literally the most inclusive person on the Royal High team. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. That's all the tea we have for today. And before we end the video, I'm actually gonna spin the wheel um, because I have not spun the wheel in a hot minute. Guys, we've been trying for so, it's, it's been a, a good year, like a good, over a good year and I still haven't gotten the dramatic eyelashes. <laughs> It's really, it's really sad. It's sad. I mean, I've got a duplicate at least a hundred times. Uh, well, probably over a hundred times to be real. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. And of course, if you did enjoy, as always, please make sure to hop on that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to become a bunny and to join the bunny garden. This has been your girl, Ashley Bunny here. Bye. Mwah. If you guys want to see a video on how my channel got deleted, make sure to leave a like. <laughs> Oh gosh.